Muscle and strength, wisdom, Maxick's book, Muscle Control. He's observing why people who are manual laborers and working their muscles all day long aren't big, strong, jack dudes in this section titled, How Mechanical Exercise May Hinder Muscle Development. I was so interested in this case that I began to take careful note of other workmen and my observations at length convinced me that mechanical exercise will not increase bulk or strength beyond a certain degree. I found out later by experiment that mechanical exercise will only produce good results if interest is directed to the muscles being used. If the mind is directed only to the work being performed, a certain point of muscular resistance is reached, but there it stops. To, in, to secure full benefit from the exercise, it is essential that the mind be concentrated on the muscles and not on the work being performed. In other words, don't work out like a construction crane where your mind is focused on just moving something up against gravity, even if it is of yourself. Your mind is naturally a lazy thing based on efficiency. So if your brain is more concerned with just getting the work done, you're like a lazy student who's gonna put in the bare minimum effort just to pass, and that's about it. But if you want great results, you can't just get the work done. You have to go above and beyond and create much more tension and much more quality movement than just getting that PR of how much weight you can lift or how many push-ups you can do. This is something that's criticized a lot. However, I used to criticize it myself, but now I'm writing book two of the Red Delta Project, and it's actually the entire focal point of the whole book is this mind-muscle connection. Now, the reason why I think a lot of people have trouble with this is a couple things. Number one is the phrasing being used. Maxick used the term muscle tension, but it's really not about muscles. He's like, think about the muscles. Well, I can think about my biceps. Bicep is there. I'm seeing it in my mind. I'm picturing it in my mind. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Tension, focusing on tension and controlling it in the muscle, that's what matters. As Bruce Lee famously said, don't think, feel. It's the feeling of the muscle tension that's more important rather than just thinking about the muscles that you have. The other thing is that a lot of people Muscle tension is one of these things that's subconscious. They're not conscious that they need to work on controlling and manipulating it. And we don't know what we don't know, you know? So you have some people, like myself, who have poor muscle tension in certain areas, but we're not aware that it's poor. It's like your brakes and your tires on your car. You don't know they're wearing down until something actually goes wrong. It's the same thing with your muscles. You don't know the tension and your ability to control it is decreasing through sitting and habitual ways of exercising over years until you get bad knees or sore lower back and so on. The other case is people who have very good muscle tension. They've been an athlete all their life. They were practically born deadlifting or whatever. So they have great tension, but again, they don't know what it's like not to have good muscle tension. So that these are the people who are like, well, yeah, deadlift like this and that'll set your hamstrings on fire. And you got people who are leg raising and deadlifting and stuff, and you feel it in the muscles, right? And they're like, no, not really. And they're like, well, that exercise works, that does it, and as long as your technique is right, then that's what matters, because that's what worked for them. But it's not actually what controls muscle tension. Exercise, good technique, these things are very heavy influences to muscle tension. But as Maxick was pointing out, they don't directly control it because oftentimes we're only gonna put the bare minimum amount of tension into an exercise just to get the job done. We wanna go beyond that, develop that tension control with like some of the tension control exercises I've talked about so we can bring our tension above and beyond the bare minimum just to get the work done and we're gonna get much more balance, control, performance, muscle strength, everything you want from your workouts. Check out these videos for more tension control tips. Comments below, be fit, live free.